Okay, so I just filmed a whole clip and my mic wasn't turned on. And I was talking a lot and that's a lot for this morning because honestly, I'm not a morning person. If you could tell, not a morning person at all. So great start because it's Canada. It's cold in September for some reason. So what I've been having is warm oats. That's just been my go-to lately. And I'm gonna put some milk chocolate protein powder in them. I put like half a cup oats and then one scoop of protein powder and then some hot water. Do you hear that? Since moving into this condo, this is the first time that I ever owned a kettle. And this thing scared the crap out of me. Oh, I think I put way too much. I measure with my heart a lot. The sad part is I kind of wanted to add milk into this, but I, it can't take any more liquid. <gasps> I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some chia seeds. Chia seeds will solve my problem. When in doubt, add chia seeds, you know? It's fine. Trust the process. Lately, it's just, you know, gets a little bit cold and I'm already ready for pumpkin pie season. So this is the creamer that I've been using every single morning. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. I can't say that it tastes exactly like pumpkin pie. I'm still gonna have to have pumpkin pie every single week this season, but it's pretty darn close. We're getting there. I'm gonna add some, some other stuff to it. Cinnamon for sure. I add cinnamon in like every single thing. Some peanut butter. Whenever I see things that are not done properly, I'm like, who did that? Me. Oh, I'm gonna add some almonds. I'm too lazy to chop them up, so they're just gonna be whole. Some mini chocolate chips. Oh, there's something in my eyeball. Okay. We have saved the oats, guys. We've saved the oats. I know I didn't even give an intro to this video today. I'm not much of a morning person. The fact that I even spoke this morning before my coffee is wild to me. When you guys asked do a day in my life, I was very worried. I'm a hermit frog. I don't really do anything exciting. I feel like I've been living a routine all my life. I go to the gym, I get back, I work, and then I make food and I just chill around. There's not really much to it, but I'll take you guys through it anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna have breakfast and then go to the gym. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, I think I'm a little bit more alive, but I gotta deal with this situation. I don't know what's going on. I've been trying to find a good curly hair routine. I'm gonna show you all the products that I got so far. Do you see that? I also have more underneath my cabinet. The thing is, I'm very easily persuaded. So whenever I see someone with curly hair, really nice curly hair, I'm like, how do you get your hair like that? And then they tell me a new product. I'm like, oh, that's the one I'm gonna use. But I'm just, I'm convinced that my hair is hopeless. I don't really know what to do with it. And don't tell me any products to use because I will buy them. And then this shelf is just gonna be full. So it's a one day at a time type of thing. The thing is like, I will use those products and they will look good for the first day. And then the next day I just wake up and it's a mess. Even though I wear a little silk head cap, it doesn't, like it's fine, but it just isn't nice, you know? Anyways, we're gonna get our hair done and ready to go. All right, all right. I'm running low on this gel, but it's actually really good. I cannot complain about this gel. Someone, one of you recommended this one and I owe you my life because it's pretty darn good. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to gel it before it's slick back, but to be completely honest with you, I have a lot of baby hairs. So when I slick it back with the comb, it just, they don't, like everything just sticks up. So I think it's more, like this looks pretty cool, 
right? I don't know. Ugh. The one thing is I just feel very lost about a lot of things when it comes to just general grooming. You know, I feel like a lot of people have their, their crap put together. But personally, I take it day by day and I don't really know what's going on half the time. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I, I don't know how to tame those. It's okay, we'll try it. Now with my bun, I kind of just twirl it around, around itself, and then just put an elastic around. It feels good. I think it should be fine. I don't know what it looks like from the back, but that is not my concern. I think someone said that, I saw that on TikTok the other day. Someone was like, whatever is behind me is not my concern, so I'm only dealing with the front. And that is me every single time I do my bun. I don't care about the back. Now these little guys are just, when in doubt, just pat down and pretend they don't exist. I'm convinced this will never, this will never be put, put all the way. I look bald when I do that. So I, I just let them do what they want to do. It is what it is. All right, let's get changed. Now there's hair all over the ground. We're changed and I'm going to fill up a water bottle and then we're going to go. You know those days when you want to go, but you feel like it's taking you a million years to do every single thing. That is me today. I feel like it's been taking me five years to leave for the gym. I need to go. I have to check to see if the oven is off for the millionth time today. Okay, let's go. <laughs> crazy but I heard that keeping your hair in a microfiber towel for like 20 minutes helps to reduce frizz has it helped me reduce frizz no will I keep doing it yes so what I'm doing now is I'm just planning what I usually do is I will plan for next week and I usually plan what I film what I edit and what I will be posting every single day of the week and then after I'm done that I'm probably gonna finish editing the YouTube video for tomorrow just the final touches and start making dinner. My brother is coming soon. He needs to drop off some things because I'm having some friends over tomorrow. He needs to drop off a table and some chairs and stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll start making dinner. You know what? We're gonna fast forward this boring part to when we're making dinner. Okay, so it's time for dinner and I'm excited because I already made these things and this was actually so good. I think I'm just gonna continue making this because it's really friggin' good. I have some honey barbecue pulled chicken here and then some cold slaw, cold slaw, cold slaw, which I am now just looking at it and I know that I missed out on the carrots, which is very disappointing because that would have been actually so good. But on its own, it's pretty good anyways. We're gonna make it in a sandwich version and the recipe for both of these is on my Instagram, so if you want to go try it out, check that out. Let's get toasting. Ooh, do I want it on a bagel? No. Sourdough is good. I've been waiting on the sourdough all day, and now I'm just debating whether or not I want a bagel. We're gonna have sourdough toast. Two slices. Ow! All right, I'm thinking of just microwaving this because I'm a little lazy to dirty more dishes. 
Don't tell anyone, but I'm microwaving this. You know those people that say that breakfast is their favorite time of the day and that they look forward to breakfast? That's the only thing that they look forward to. Breakfast is my dinner, if that makes sense. Breakfast, my dinner is their breakfast to them. You know what I mean? Dinner is just the thing that I look forward to the most, which is why I think I'm more of a night person than a morning person. You need to toast more. Come on. You're still not toasted enough. What's going on? Mmm, that chicken smells so good. Okay, now this coleslaw recipe, I was very much doubting it because it used yogurt instead of mayo, but it's actually so good. It's so good and extra protein, so I'm down. The fact that I'm using tongs, I didn't want to dirty anything else, but I feel like this is a crucial thing to dirty. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. That is the amount of toasty toast I want. It smells burnt now, but it's okay. Are you done? I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, I need to bring you guys closer to, to show you. Now, just imagine that there's carrots in this. I did put a little bit too much red onion, but I don't think you can ever go wrong with red onion. It's so good. Now time for the pulled chicken. This has to be my favorite sandwich. I honestly thought the tuna melt I made the other day was really good, but this is just so good. Also those end pieces, those crisp little end pieces are the absolute best. I think I'm just gonna add some chicken on the side because protein, you know? That is ridiculous. So while I eat this, I'm gonna go over there to the living room and eat it while watching Love Island. I feel like that's something I'm probably gonna get judged for, but the thing is, you know when something is so bad that it's good? I just can't stop watching it for some reason. There's too much drama this season too. It's a little entertaining, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go watch. Okay, so I just finished, I just finished dinner. It was really good, but I'm starting to get tired. <sighs> I'm just gonna clean up, put on a tea, and start editing tomorrow's video. I'm probably watch Love Island while I edit. Just to make sure that I don't fall asleep on you guys, I'm gonna end this video here. But I wanna thank you so much for coming along with me throughout this day. I hope it wasn't boring for you, but thank you for coming along with me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you wanna see next. I will see you in the next video. I love you so, so much. Bye.